Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Y'all don't know no uh, y'all don't know no truck driver that's more turnt than me. If you know him, if you know him, point him out. Let let me know. Let me know if you know him, so I can know him and holler at him. We gonna see who really most turnt. You shoulda never gave up on me. Remember, I ain't had no views. They ain't players. Mixed emotions. Get to react when I roll this. Yo, what's up, gang? It's Damo G. Money Making Monday, man. I want to do a little vlog today. It's uh 4 30 in the morning, bro. So before I like even start the truck, I do like two to three things. Well, four, probably like four things. I brush my teeth, I meditate, I eat a banana. I try and eat like a banana a day. If I can, I try and keep them on me. And I read when um I don't want to say I read every day, but if I got the book for sure, I'm going to try and read every day. It might not even be in the morning before I start, but I'm definitely going to read. I'm reading uh, I'm reading this little book right here. It's called The One Thing. It's it's a decent little book. It started off slow, gang, but part two, part two busting for sure. It was recommended to me. So if you want to read it, check out The One Thing. It's, it's, it's about simply what it's called, man. The One Thing. You focus on doing one thing. Don't focus on doing a whole bunch of things. Get that one thing done, and then everything else gonna fall in line, gang. It's called the domino effect. But yeah, I got my load. I gotta go. Um, I gotta go get it from the uh, dispatchers. And the reason that I meditate, it's it's a must. Meditation is a must for me, bro. I have to get my mind right before I start my day or start trucking or start my day i meditate on the weekends too on my off days i just it's just something i need i say my mantras i gotta get my energy up for just be prepared for the bullshit man if you don't meditate try it that shit start off when you first start meditating bro it start off weird like you know everything start bugging you you got an itch or you getting hot you thinking about the wrong stuff that's why i do mantras so you won't uh so you can just stay focused on the meditation now like mantra is like um i am uh healthy wealthy and grateful like you just say good stuff about yourself i love myself i'm strong i'm gonna have a good day i'm getting money you know just whatever you want to say gang try the mantras if you um want to think about meditating but yeah for me it's a must it's a necessity gang so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and slide and you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. Perfect example of why I meditate, gang. Look at that. What's that is? That's on. That's my check engine light. <laughs> this is why I meditate. I gotta get I gotta get myself ready so I won't trip about shit like that. But what's crazy is this is literally my third time. Yeah, this is probably my third time. This check engine light that came on and I took it to the shop. I'm just ready for them to say like shit. We gotta send it to actual Kenworth because obviously the shop ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna say they ain't getting it done, but shit, them motherfuckers still on. I'ma see what they say when um I get over here. I ain't even go uh, holler at my dispatchers yet. I'ma holler at my mechanics first, see what they say. Hopefully they ain't even busy over there, but it's early in the morning. They don't really be too busy early in the morning. I'ma see what they say, and then I'ma head over to my dispatcher, let them know what's up. Hopefully they can get rid of it. Last time it was my um, it was saying it was my coolant, but when we checked the coolant, it wasn't leaking. When I do the pre trips, it don't be leaking. It be uh, filled to the top, so I don't really know. And that's what the check engine light reading is that. And then when I sometimes when I was to drive that day, when I was like driving back, it'll come on. The coolant light with like a wrench next to it, come on. I'm like, damn this. This just not, it's just not working. So we gonna see what's up. Hopefully I get some good news. It look like they got somebody in front of me already, gang. They probably here for like a 30 day uh, inspection. At Martin, you gotta get a 30 day inspection. Every 30 days, the mechanics gotta inspect your truck. Make sure you good to go. They changed my tires one time, so they be looking out sometimes. This is what the shop look like. Another 30 day for somebody probably. You gotta wait. You usually gotta sign these papers right here so they can know what's up. But since my check engine light on, they might just come rock with me right away. I probably ain't gotta wait, you feel me? And you got a, you got like a, a tractor guy 
and you got a, a trailer guy, which is cool. So if you go pick up your load and like, let's say one of the lights out, you come holler at the, the trailer guy, you pop your light in real quick and you good to go. So yeah, they be real. They be real useful sometimes, man, for real. They be in need, especially with them reefers, bro. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to fill it out. So you put your name, that's my name. Today's day is the 11th. You gotta put your comment. I put my check engine light on for the third time, gang, the third time. They got it off twice and it just keep coming back on. You put your truck number. You circle which truck you got. I got a Kenworth. And your driver number. 84149, gang. That's my driver number if y'all wanna refer me, you feel me? But he said, uh, I gotta wait. The mechanic don't come in to six. Right now it's five thirty. So I'm gonna go holler at dispatch, let them know that I gotta wait to six for the mechanic come in because my check engine light on. So I'm probably just gonna chill, I guess, gang. That's the life of a trucker right here. <laughs> for real. Alright, man. Since I gotta wait it out, man. What y'all wanna talk about? I wish I was live or something. I wanna do a live gang, like just holler at y'all under the live. It's just a live effect, you feel me? So y'all can feel me, I feel y'all. And we do some Q and A's or crack some jokes or whatever, man. But since I'm chilling though, I ain't even tell y'all that uh, Martin actually paid for my overweight ticket. When I got that overweight ticket, if you if you've been locked in with me and you know about that, yeah, they paid for it. If you ain't seen it, go check that video out. I'm new, I'm still a new driver, so I still learn, I still be making mistakes, but now I know. But yeah, I got a call. He like, yeah, we seen that you scanned in for an overweight ticket or whatever. And I'm just like, I instantly got my head down like, yeah, man, I got an overweight ticket, you embarrassed, whatever. Still was embarrassed even after I was told. But he like, um, I just want to let you know, you know what I'm saying, Martin, we gonna pay for the first one. But for now on, you know, make sure you is weighing yourself before you get out here on the road. If you pick up a backhaul, Go to a, um, they want you to go to like a pilot and uh, weigh yourself there. If you like in South Carolina or something, or you just across state lines and you know you got to come back, go through a weigh station coming back, they want you to go to like a pilot or, or something to um, to the CAT scan to get weighed so you make sure you want, ain't overweight. But of course you got to pay for that. So they saying they're going to reimburse you. So he like, yeah, make sure you do that and we just going to take care of you the first time. And I was so happy to hear that because... He don't even know. That's all I needed was <laughs> was that one time. All I needed was that one time, that one mistake, Martin. That one mistake, gang. You feel me? I that I ain't trying to get caught up in that no more. I'm talking about I be just so on it now, whatever. See, I got my little computer. I be having to lay my computer down on the bed every morning. Because I used to have it up here on this little desk thing. Man, it took me one time I bust like a right. Because I had it like tads or something. I bust like a right, gang. And um, that motherfucker fell out here. Do, 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 do. I was like, oh my God. I was ready, I was ready to call the one, man, because that's my baby. You know, that's how I record music. That's how I edit videos. That's just how I surf the web, learn what I learned from my computer. Like, that's literally my baby. Hey, if you make music, you got to get one of these, man. You know, your vocals go through here. That's my baby. I spent some bread on this for sure. Watch it light up. Oh, you see them lights with my headphones? Let me get my mic. It's a little ghetto, gang. I mean, I'm in a truck, bro. The fact that I'm even uh, recording in a truck, ghetto as hell, man. There's my mic, man. There's my baby. I got the bluebird. That bluebird. Yes, sir, ski. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm finna play. I'm finna play some unreleased Damo G for y'all. Hold on. I'm gonna turn my, uh, I'm gonna turn my speakers on. Damn. I got speakers in here too, gang. <laughs> I got speakers in here too, gang. Look at my speakers, gang. This a little uh, oven that, like a little fake little oven. I don't not use it, gang. I only probably use it like two or three times. I do not use it. I don't care for it at all. I wish I would never bought it. But all right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this, uh, that goddamn Damo G. It's called Bossed Up Gang. 
Yeah. Gotta put some Hold on. You know Hold on, gang. Proud of my little self, cause I done bossed up. Take care of the family, take them out and run this truck up. Gang? I'm like, hold on, hold wait a minute, on. let me boss up. I'm like, hold on, hold wait a minute, on. let me boss up. Ah. Nigga, I got money, I got cash, I got credit through the dash. She got titties, she got ass, she got mouth, let me smash. She it ain't this, bitch is that. She was good, now she bad. If you broke, we won't last, but it gonna be your bad. Hold on, go. Y'all don't know no uh y'all don't know no truck driver that's more turnt than me. If you know him, if you know him, point him out, let him, let me know. Let me know if you know him so I can know him and holler at him. We're gonna see who really most turnt. But yeah, that's that's just a sample, gang. I'm bored as hell. That's <laughs> that's just a sample. I just wanted to let y'all see how I be getting down in this truck. I did that in the truck, gang. That's a specific song I recorded in the truck. Hey, I'll be seeing y'all. Some of y'all be saying that my music nice, man. Y'all know I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, all that, YouTube. I got a whole nother channel. Just put in Damo G. My Damo G TV probably taking over, but just put in Damo G. You going to see. You going to see my face. You going to see my face, man. I got that mixed emotions, that full ambition, all that on there. Man, I lost my damn SD card, the, the big part that you put into the computer, man, so I can start editing, so... Since I got away to six, man, I just slid up here to Walmart too bad, which I don't want to spend no money, man. I hate that shit, man. I hate spending money, gang. All right. We back here, gang. They got one for 18. They got one for 12. This is about my, this is about my price range right here, gang. 12, 12.88. They got that cheap motherfucker lot. God damn. Oh, oh, oh. We got one for $10, gang. Oh, shit. Oh, they got that whole lot too. Oh, man, 44 gang. That whole lot too. But the 1899 ain't locked. I mean 1844 ain't locked. Come on, man. And I feel like it's gonna be hard to uh find me somebody to come get this. Let me see if it one cheaper than 944. No, oh, oh, oh. We got one 698, gang. And it ain't locked. Let's go. Hey, whole time, I think this the whole, the whole chip. I don't know, I don't even want to grab it. I'm going to just go ahead and grab this one for uh, $14.99, gang. Since, um, since it's cheaper than $18.44. <laughs> hey, when y'all pull up to, um, to the, to the little terminal thing, you got to show them people your, uh, your ID. So you can go ahead, so they can make sure you is who you is. And not who you ain't. On my soul, why the chain engine like went out, gang? I ain't even been to the mechanic yet. I'm finna walk in there. I started it up. Now it's, now it's gone. Come on, man. This be this what I be talking about. But I'm finna see. I'm still finna go in here and holler at them and see what they say, bro. Because I'm really ready to get this load and get up out of here for real, to be honest with y'all. All right, so, of course, since it ain't no light on, they can't scan for nothing, gang. So, we got back under the hood. Like I said, ain't no leaking in the coolant. Uh, they changed the sensor, so my best bet is to just keep moving forward, bro. And I don't need to stress over it. It's off right now. I don't got a real big load. I got a real small local load. So I'll be able to basically, I'm going probably like 115 miles uh, total. So we'll see how that day go and see if it's going to come back on. If it come back on, then it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to stay on if it come back on this time. And then I'm going to just go back to the shop and then we're going to see what they say from there. He let me go and get up out of his way or he get up out my way. 153-860. 153-860. What number we looking for, gang? One five three eight six zero. Oh. I do not see that hoe. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into it, but if it ain't over here, then we just gotta go around over there where the reefers be at. And pick it up. There you go. One, five, three, eight, six, oh. I try and stop in front of that John. Bust a hole left. And I should be right in front of it when I by the time I make a complete turn. I ain't completely in front of it, but I'm still in front of it. Go ahead, you know, line up with it. Five, 
5-3-8-6-0. You get up under. You try and go slow so you won't crash into it. Like I just kind of did. I didn't, but I did. I done did worse. Hitting harder than that. Then you always do your tub test game. Put it in on dry. Hit the gas a little bit. Let it tug on it. Just like in school. So you good. You know you hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. That tug test mandatory, man. Like, seriously. I'm going to take my key. Since I'm going local, gang, I ain't, um, uh, the weight ain't really a problem, to be honest with you. Take your lock with you. Cause it's good to remember the last four, 0630. So when we go back there, we check it, we put our lock on it. The, we got to remember that seal number two. 0630, that's it right there. It's correct, so you know you good. You got the right seal on there. If it was the wrong seal, of course you just go probably tell dispatch or something. Then you want to crank it up. Now, I said this before, but when it's like touching the ground like that and it don't even move, then you gotta put it, you gotta put this in slow gear before you crank it. This man, you probably gonna could possibly have to do some real work right now. It's good when you uh, slide under it, and then this is off the ground some, some meaning it's gonna be easy to crank, but that's uh, high gear, and out here is low gear. Then you gotta push that in. So you gotta go. So I might not have to do a lot of work because it, uh, it ain't too hard to turn right now. Oh yeah, we good. It's a, it's a good day when you ain't got to wrestle with this. You already off to a good start, I swear. You got to hook up our airlines. You know, blue with blue, red with red, and the electric. Red, red, then you run your preacher. Man, it's some goofy shit going on right now, gang. Like, for real. So, me and FedEx, look, FedEx right in front of me. Me and FedEx just rolling. I'm three minutes away from my stop, bro. And a police officer on a bike want to pull me over and say, or pull us over and say, this is a no through truck zone. Like, what the fuck? Ain't nobody saying no signs or none of that. The GPS okay with it, ain't no bridges or nothing. This damn near like a busy street, so. I don't know what's finna happen. This shit lame. This that this the type of shit that be making me just wanna quit this shit because some shit you just cannot avoid. Like I can't I can't really help too much this situation. Like what you want me to do, bro? I never I didn't know that this wasn't a no through truck zone. And obviously FedEx didn't either, you know what I'm saying? So we just driving. So just let us go or something, bro. But you know how 12 be, man. We gonna see what's up. So I got issued a warning, man. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure FedEx is getting the same thing. But that shit just crazy, gang. This shit just be crazy. This shit that you just go through out here, like, you ain't trying to fuck up and nothing. But life just, it just be it. When it comes to this road, it's just hard rules to just follow sometimes. But what can I do? Just be grateful I got a warning, I guess. We made it, gang. We made it. Now let's see what it look like back here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright. So pick up all the way over there. Now I had said in the video before that uh, the pickup side as well, you dropping off. You know, if you're doing like groceries and stuff, or you got a refill, anything with groceries though, you got to get over there on the pickup side. Cause that's nine out of ten. That's where you going That's where the little loading trailers or whatever unload the trailer at over there. Now this gonna be um, they gonna be fixing cars right here. I'm pretty sure. Cause this the automotive side. That's where the GM people be dropping their trailer off at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I'm the little garage. Automotive. I mean, I'm talking about automotive. <laughs> automotive. Automotive gang. See, in that first truck, he probably in that sleep. He probably in that sleep, maybe. This how I be, I ain't gonna lie. Pick, you find you somewhere, 
And you just call it a night, gang. Don't wrestle. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it say 3627 slash GM. That's how you just simply know it's the GM side too. You gotta get through here. Y'all think I can fit through here? I don't know. This a tough one right here, gang. Let's see, let's see how close. No, I don't think I can't make that. I ain't even gonna wrestle. I feel like I can, but he kinda like too. He too crooked for me, man. Damn. I sure don't think I can make this though, gang. I ain't gonna cap. Just watch that side right there. Cause I'm clear right here. Yeah, I'm tripping. I was overthinking it. Cause of y'all watching. I'm overthinking cause y'all watching, gang. I had more than enough room. Y'all making me nervous. Got it open. So you wanna turn all the way into to the inside. This is just how I do it. Then I turn it out. But this is easy because this is a lot of uh space. It's more than enough. I can pull up as much as I want to. Then you wanna pull up till you see your, you know the side of your truck. Boom. Then you throw it in reverse. It's too much on that side, so when I turn it to gang, I'm turning it towards that side to get it this way. Since I got a little experience now, I'll be hitting the gas a little bit. You feel me? Just a little bit. Damn, that sun probably uh messing up y'all. Y'all seeing if y'all can see it. And then you just turn it. Now you see the side of my trailer. Now I'm just doing straight back. If you want a ping pong, like boop, 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 you can do that. I still do that myself, I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, since I'm mostly there, now I'm finna go ahead and uh, unlock that lock. Got to turn it off to um, cause I got the key on the to unlock the lock. Unlock this joint. Finish the straight back, man. Try and take it slow so you won't slam it to the dock. It's gonna happen though sometimes. You just gonna slam it to it. That's just that's just how it go. That was kind of easy, but a little simple bump. I'm up here getting some gas, man. At a pilot's. Almost ran out of gas, man. Don't be like me. Literally, like I almost literally ran out of gas. The light even came on, everything. I was either gonna decide to go to the store, then come to the gas station, which is probably like 20 minutes away. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm just go to the gas station and thug it out that way. Cause I don't want no smoke coming from the store and then can't make it. But I'm really finna do a drop and hook at my second store. And that's really about it. Then I'ma head back. The check engine light did come back on, gang which I knew it was gonna happen anyway, which they probably knew it was gonna happen, but it is what it is. Even though after everything, check engine light, the gas down there running now, 12 pulling me over along with FedEx. I'm still in a good mood. I'm still straight guns. What was your favorite part of the day? I like that too, you feel me? But all right gang, until next time, I'll holla at you.